Hi everyone, today I'd like to show you how to make wireless page turning pedals for musicians to use in rehearsals and gigs and discuss some considerations and variants that can suit this project to your individual needs. I've been using these pedals for over a year now in performances and rehearsals and every time I use them other musicians come up to me and ask firstly where I get them from and afterwards if I can make one for them. So today I'd like to dive a little bit more into detail with this project. Let's start with the wireless control device. Here we're using a cheap Bluetooth phone camera remote used for taking selfies. This was just a few dollars online. The main button sends a volume up keystroke. So to replace the main button, we observe the connections to the switch on the circuit board and solder on insulated wires at the terminals, bypassing the switch with our own. I cut small grooves into the plastic housing to let the wires poke through then close it up to keep the circuitry secure. Onto the foot switch. Here we use a length of aluminium flat bracket, which was about $6 at Bunnings, though there's enough there to make a few pedals. I like the 4 segment or 8cm wide flat. We shorten it down to 11 segments or 27.5cm long by bending it back and forth until it breaks. We then bend it into a pedal shape, taking care to bend it slowly and carefully to avoid metal fatigue and breakage. We then cut a short length of scrap wood to fit across the open end of the pedal. One of the wires from the controller is screwed into this wood. The other is screwed into the metal base. Here I used a rubber pad beneath the pedal as backing material and to reduce slipping. Now when the pedal is closed, the screw in the wood will contact the metal pedal body which in turn connects to the screw of the other wire terminal. This closes the circuit and the controller sends the keystroke. This completes the foot switch construction. Finally, we need to make sure that our device recognizes the message. This step really depends on the device you have and the music program that you use. I'll show you my procedure first, then I'll suggest some alternatives for other devices afterward. I'm using a Windows 10 tablet and the Zodo PDF reader. My interpreter of choice is AutoHotKey. This program is typically used for creating macros and keyboard shortcuts. I download and install the program, then write a short code that will help me turn the pages. In particular, the code says, when you receive a volume up message, wait for half a second. If the pedal is still depressed, send the left arrow keystroke, that is to go back a page, then wait for the pedal to be released. Otherwise, if the pedal is no longer depressed, send the right arrow keystroke, that is to turn the page. Also, if the escape key is hit, exit the program. This lets us turn pages forward and back from a single button. And that's it. Now you've got a functional wireless page turning pedal. On reliability, personally I want to have full faith in my pedal that it will work every time. There's nothing worse than it failing while on stage. I've even seen commercial Bluetooth page turners fail, so I was keen to explore other options. Instead, I built another pedal using a wireless mouse. This is one of those with the little USB receiver that plugs into your device. The mouse I used was $9 from Kmart, and this pedal is nearly 100% reliable. This is the pedal I use in professional gigs and rehearsals. On affordability, the material cost of this pedal was about $2 for the aluminium used, $3 for the controller, and perhaps $1 at most for the wire, screws, scrap wood, and rubber. The pedal I use with the wireless mouse cost about $14. On connectivity, I understand that many people use iPads, Android devices, or Macs and may use programs like Fourscore. For better connectivity, Bluetooth really is the more universal wireless communication language. Additionally, not all devices easily allow the remapping of keystrokes as we did using AutoHotKey. To that end, I would suggest using a Bluetooth mouse or a Bluetooth keypad as your control device. This can then send the correct clicks or keystrokes for your program. You can easily build two pedals wired up to two different mouse buttons or keypad keys to enable turning pages forwards and back. Just before this video wraps up, I'd like to tell those of you in Perth about Onsen, a fringe festival show from the 25th to 31st of January 2021 that I've been developing in Tango On. An hour of enrapturing soundscapes and rhythms inspired by the ambience of Japanese hot springs, this show brings together music, movement, and meditative sound for a deeply immersive listening experience. Details and ticket links in the description below, and I really hope to see you there. And there we go. I hope that was easy enough to follow along with. 
and I really do hope you try building one of these, even if it's a backup pedal. I've included a few more points of detail in the description below, and if you do build one, I'd really love to hear about it. For the percussionists and organists out there whose hands and feet are often busy while playing, I've got a prototype for a hands-free, feet-free page turner currently in development, so stay tuned here and I'll upload that when that project reaches completion. Happy New Year everybody, stay safe.